Hello, I'm going to show you briefly how to use this simulation. We are going to focus on proportions and you can leave the binomial and walled options there, not to worry about those. The true population proportion here is expressed by pi, where we would normally see the value p. We'll leave that at 50%. And then you can change your sample sizes for however large of a sample you'd like to generate. I'm going to try samples of 50. And I'll start by just generating 100 intervals at one time. Confidence level, lots of options there too. I'm going to stick with the 95%. And let's do a sample. So what we have are 100 intervals, each of size 50, produced and showing the interval and whether or not it includes the true proportion 0 0.50 or not. Those that do happen to be good intervals that ended up including the what we know now as the population proportion 0.5 are shown in green. And those intervals for which the sample proportion was a little bit unusually large or small such that the interval around that best guess actually did not include the population rate are shown in red. We can see that our most recent sample, our latest one, had a sample proportion that was 0.46, a little bit lower. The sample proportions shown by these black dots vary from one sample to the next, but most of the time we're seeing intervals around these best guesses that include the actual true population rate. I can see that for this first set of 100, 97 actually did include the population proportion. If I continue to sample, it'll give me the results of each set of 100 and then a long-term running proportion. So I can see in the long term, I do expect about 50, uh, excuse me, 95% of the intervals containing the true proportion, even though any one set of 100 intervals may not be exactly at 95%. You're asked in the pre-lab to change the sample size, to change your confidence level and observe what happens and write up a sentence or two about that. Have fun playing with this applet.